Temperature of 48.8 C sets new record high in Italy and Europe. Here's a summary of the article. Temperatures soared in Italy today, with Floridia in Italy recording the highest temperature in the country, a staggering 48.8 C. It was measured by the Sicily region's agrometeorological information system this afternoon at 2 p.m. in Floridia, a town in the province of Syracuse, and it snatched the record that had been held since 1977 by Athens. Sicily, central and southern Italy and part of northern Italy are under the influence of a current of torrid air from the Sahara that has caused temperatures to soar to levels never before recorded. It is the highest temperature ever recorded in Europe. It will have to be reviewed and approved by the World Meteorological Organization who, thanks to Arizona State University, keep an official list of the world's extreme weather events. In the coming days, temperatures will not improve in the south, while the African anticyclone that brings extreme temperatures will move northwards. This post received a score of 30,000, with an up-vote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. See you next year when that is topped. Greater than see you next week when that is topped. FTFY. Tomorrow. Day after tomorrow copyright. What if, one by one, all of Roland Emmerich's movies come true? We need to protect Jeff Goldblum at all costs. This was always a condition. Of course. I assumed it was a given. I really am not looking forward to these next few decades. You gotta be a glass half full kinda guy. Don't need to worry about saving for retirement if you know you're just gonna be killed in the water wars of the 2060s. God damn. Born too early to have to fight to the death in a Thunderdome for the last penicillin shot. Born too late to be able to afford a good retirement. Fun fact, the other team in the Thunderdome is fighting to avoid the penicillin shot. I'm actually allergic to penicillin, so I guess I'd be on the team skeptical smiley face. Now don't be rash. It doesn't seem like a big difference, but that 42C to 48C is a fucking killer. We don't even have 40C here every year, and never more than 41 to 42. I can't even imagine what it's like getting close to 50. I am over in Oregon in the US. We too are experiencing 40C as well. I have lived here all 27 years of my life and I have never experienced this many heat waves of above 40 C literally ever. It's terrifying. Shit just melts in my car now. I am getting sunburns for the first time in my life. It's fucking crazy. Oregon is a part of the PNW rainforest and we are currently in a drought. I am not excited for fire season this year, let alone next summer. We have left the era of forgiveness and entered the era of consequence. Precisely. We had been warned. Those in power did nothing. Those in power got paid to STFU. Indeed, it's not that they did nothing. Just nothing to combat climate change. They did plenty of things to grow their wealth and enrich their own lives. Which will help them buy a place at the best habitable places left on Earth. Fuck everybody else. Yep. This is the part one don't think a lot of people understand. The difference between the haves and the have-nots is going to widen exponentially in the next decade. I think you're severely underestimating the propensity for violence humans can have. It's all going to end very violently with a lot of finger pointing. It's depressing to think about. It's not just damn hot. It's approaching Death Valley hot. It's even approaching Canada hot. Yeah, so sad that the day after reaching the record 49.6 C 121 F in Lytton, BC, the whole town was burnt to the ground in a wildfire. We have all fucked up. We are so beyond fucked, it's not even funny. There is nothing more to be said. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.